Hey guys, this video is to cover what's included in the tacotunes.com Dual Alpine PDX installation kit. This kit is to help you install two amplifiers into your Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to go over I'm going to go down the listing of everything that's included. A lot of folks uh, tend to have questions on these cuz there is a lot of stuff included. Um, your standard amplifier kit that you buy off the shelf, uh, your bundle packs are missing a ton of stuff. And this thing has a lot of thing has a lot of extras that are generally not included. So let me jump in here and show you guys what we're doing. Um, some pretty common setups are if you've purchased our SQ1 or SQ2 package. The SQ2 package is what we call the tailgater, and that one requires a lot of power. And generally, people get a PDX 4-150 along with a PDX uh, 1000, uh, the 1000 watt uh, amplifier from Alpine. The other common thing is our SQ1, which is a really nice package, and that one's a little less powerful but still sounds great. And generally, that's a PDX 4100 and along with a PDX 600, uh, PDX 1.600. Basically, that means four channels at 100 watts, or one channel at 600 watts is generally the way, the easiest way to describe it. Anyhow, let me jump in here and show you guys. Um, here's a picture of the amp, obviously, and if you're going to be running two, you would be able to stack them. The next thing is, uh, let me jump in here, is um, the wiring that's included. Notice it's all Tsunami gear. It's all their high-end stuff. Um, this is 20 foot of zero gauge wiring. And just to give you an idea of how thick it is, we put a pencil in the picture so you can see the thickness. Alpine suggests uh, four gauge to the amp. So generally, rather than running two four gauge wires from the battery, which is not the best scenario, you're going to run this as your feeder, and then I'm going to show you later on um, some other wiring you're going to be used to actually connect directly to the amps. Uh, but included here is 20 foot, 20 foot gauge of um, the one gauge, the zero gauge wiring. We've pre-crimped it, and then notice here it comes with a 200 amp. Uh, ANL fuse along with the fuse holder and you'll see here you've also got a voltmeter included so you can kind of keep an eye on your battery voltage while you're tailgating and uh, you want to make sure you don't let that drop you know below X amount of voltage depending on your battery or type of battery you've got. Uh, usually a good safe zone is probably about 11 and a half volts. You probably don't want to let it drop below that. In some cases you can but um, you know, you just got to kind of keep an eye out on it. Make sure you can start your car back up. Also included is the um, mounting block. This is a custom mounting block made specifically for your Toyota. And if I jump over here, you'll see there are holes already drilled in your truck, and these bolts fit into those holes, and these flush mount. So then you take that fuse holder, you mount it in here, and you're ready to go. That saves you a lot of time. Uh, next thing, here's a little picture of the ANL fuser with power applied to it. Okay, the next thing that's included is 10 foot of power and 10 foot of ground. Now you want to try and make these as short as possible, but we include extra for just in case. Notice we've crimped these two sides, and what you want to do is you want to make sure to cut, don't um, make sure to cut these to length. We crimp it on both sides, but um, don't just cut it in half. Make sure it's going to reach both of your amps before you cut it. Uh, look at our installation videos, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Again, uh, here we've got a tsunami uh, distribution block. So the one gauge is going to drive in here, and then this is going to power. You're going to have two, two, one going to each of your amps of this four gauge. So you're going to cut this and use it to feed into your amp. Again, look at our installation videos. Uh, let me go next here. Here you're going to get 50 foot of red, 50 foot of blue um, speaker wiring. This is 16 gauge. And then you're also going to get 25 foot and 25 foot of tweeter wiring. And of course, you're going to use this to color code. It makes it easier to hook everything up on the back side. And then you get 25 foot of subwoofer wiring. Uh, next, thing you're going to get, next thing you get is either 9 foot or 17 foot RCA patch cables. These are the Tsunami Elite Series. And depending on whether you're going to install under your seat or behind the, the uh, back seat of the truck, depending if you have like a double cab, you're going to want to specify 9 or 17 foot. 9 is for under the seats, 17 is for behind the seats. And again, three sets of them. Uh, we're also going to include zip ties, uh, different terminal connections, crimp caps, the bolts. 
some miscellaneous bolts and screws to help out. What's missing is some split loom. And then here you're going to see these are self-tapping bolts. Generally what a lot of people do is they'll take a board, mount it underneath the seat, and then put the amp on top of it. And these spacers help keep the um, help keep the amp from crushing any uh, like any wiring and stuff. So you have to kind of be, be careful when you're using these and strategically use your spacers, and they'll help keep your amp board up off the um, off of your air ducting and wiring. Um, here's a complete listing of everything's included. Again, 20 feet of zero gauge power wire, 10 feet of four gauge ground wire, 10 feet of power wire the distribution block, the custom Tacoma mounting block, the LED voltmeter and ANO fuse holder. Actually this should say 200 amp, but um, so you'll get a 200 amp with a dual kit. 30 feet of primary wiring, that's the blue turn on wire, so your, stereo, your amps know when to turn on and off. Three 9 or 17 foot oxygen free, excuse me, RCA patch cables as we discussed. 100 feet of 16 gauge wiring. 50, 50 feet of 18 gauge, and again these are color coded, 25 feet of subwoofer wiring, the speaker terminal connections, um, you're going to get, again not pictured, were some mounting head cable ties, you're going to get a, a number of other cable ties. Um, hope this answers all y'all's questions.